Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you get notified each time I upload a video. So today I'm going to be discussing and sharing with you guys how to figure out the right foundation for you. I've been doing all these videos for beginners so I figured it's only right that I film a video for you guys showing you how to find your foundation. So if you want to see how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's just get right into it. Before filming this video, I had to do a whole lot of research for you guys to be able to break down how to find your foundation very, very easily. And this times where we can't just walk into a shop and do foundation matches, especially here in Africa, in Ghana, a lot of makeup vendors do not have testers around for you because they say that it's expensive. And these days you have to buy online most of the time because of the pandemic going on, unfortunately. It's not the easiest to figure out your foundation shade online by just looking at a foundation. You know, just looking at a foundation through the bottle as well is not going to show you how to find the right foundation for your skin. So first of all, I made a whole bunch of notes. I know, I know. And it's not going to be like a really long video. I'm going to make this as short as possible. First of all, you need to know your skin type. There's normal skin, there's dry skin, there's oily skin, um, oily combination, sensitive skin. As you guys know, I have oily combination skin, which means that my skin, especially my T-zone, gets very oily as the day goes by. Usually, the people with normal skin have like a normal oil production all over their face. It's not too oily, it's not too dry. People who have dry skin, they hardly do get oily so when they're trying to get their makeup they have to figure out the foundation that's going to work for them so fortunately for us um, brands these days come out with different types of foundations on the market and then they are targeted for people with different skin types for example the Fenty Beauty foundation has um, two types there's a hydrating foundation and there's a soft matte foundation I will set them in the screen so if you are normal in between it means you can use either of these two you just just have to manipulate your base a bit so if you figure out your skin type you know that oh I'm oily you should go towards something that is matte or soft matte depending on the kind of finish that you want me I always go towards foundations that are soft matte or matte because I want my makeup to last longer if your face starts to produce oil too much your makeup can break apart and look disgusting and melt off your face which is not the goal at least that's not my goal I want to end up looking flawless for as long as I can so I have to go for a foundation that is soft smart to be able to work with my skin type I hope that makes sense so once you figure out your skin type you know what to start looking for you're going to look for a soft matte foundation a matte foundation a hydrating foundation or a foundation for your normal skin if you have sensitive skin you need to go for foundations that are fragrance free fragrance usually has an effect on your skin so for example if if you have oily combination sensitive skin you need to find a foundation that is matte soft matte and fragrance free so that it's not going to harm your skin and then you can end up wearing the foundation for as long as you like i hope this makes sense to you guys so let's move on to the next point you need to find foundations that are non-comedogenic Foundations that are non-comedogenic means that they are not going to block your pores. If you use any foundation that is going to clog your pores, you're going to end up having problems like breakouts and acne. Your makeup shouldn't affect your skin negatively. In my opinion, if I use a makeup product and it affects my skin negatively, there's no way I'm going to use it because this is the only skin that I have and I don't want to mess it up because of something temporary like makeup. There are some foundations that would clog your pores, so you need to read the packaging of the foundation usually these days most of the foundations that come out are non comedogenic which means they are not going to block your pores so that's a very very good thing so the third point which is very necessary in my opinion is that you need to figure out the goal of what you want your foundation to do for you why I'm saying this is that there are different types of foundation again there are full coverage foundations medium coverage foundations and light coverage foundations when I say light I don't mean fair 
I'm just seeing a light as in how much the foundation covers up your skin. So if you have hyperpigmentation on your skin and you want to cover it up, I would definitely advise you to go for a full coverage foundation. If you just want to end up, you know, covering your face and minimally, you can go for a medium coverage foundation. If you just want something really, really light and you just want to balance out the skin tone of your face, you can go for a light coverage foundation. If you are in the middle and sometimes you want to do full coverage, sometimes you want to do light coverage, you can go for a medium to buildable coverage foundation, which means that on some days you can use just a little foundation to cover up just a little bit of your skin and some days you can go on with a little more foundation to cover up your entire skin. The next point is figuring out the right shade of foundation for you. When you are trying to find out the right match for you, you would have to match it onto your chest, your neck, or the outer portions of your face. It's really not advisable to match foundations into the inner portions of your face because those places are usually light, like lighter than your entire face. So, you know, as women of color, we don't have one whole color on our face. Our faces are different colors. So, that's why I'm saying that the inner part of your face is usually the lightest. So if you are trying to find your foundation shade, you can either match it to your chest, your neck, or the outer portions of your face, which is usually the safest bet. Now that we figured out how to find the right foundation shade, you need to figure out if the foundation oxidizes. Oxidation is when the foundation comes into contact with air and then it just becomes darker. Sometimes oxidation of the foundation comes about because of the foundation coming into contact with the oils on your skin to find out if a foundation oxidizes you need to wear the foundation for about two hours you need to put on your face walk around the bed do your rounds as and when you come back you check in the mirror if it has become darker it means the foundation has oxidized also i went online and i checked on tips on how to prevent foundations from oxidizing is to blot your face um as and when it gets oily also some people suggested that um you set your face or your foundation with a translucent powder to prevent it from oxidizing personally i've not tried these tips that were suggested online but you can go ahead and try it if you have a foundation that oxidizes on you. So the next most important part is figuring out your undertone. An undertone is basically the color from the surface of your skin which uh, affects the overall hue of your skin. Um, according to the research that I did, there are basically three undertones which is the cool, warm and neutral undertones. So um, you can just look at someone and figure out if their undertones are cool, warm or neutral. Some Sometimes you can especially experienced makeup artists um, sometimes when I look at someone I can just figure out their undertones and if maybe unfortunately I get the undertone wrong I know how to fix it with concealer or contour or powder that's not the case for a lot of people so I'm going to suggest to you a few ways in which you can use to figure out the undertone of your skin so I have three suggestions right here for you guys so the first one is figuring out the color of the veins um, and underneath your skin. Straight off the bat, you can even use this part of your hand to figure out the color under your skin. I don't know if it shows on camera, but the color of my veins are green. So if you check and the color of your veins is green, you have a warm undertone. If you check your veins and it has a blue hue, it means you have a cool undertone. But if you have a mixture of green and blue, it means your undertone is neutral. So it means neutral is usually the middle ground when it comes to these things if you check and then you have a warm undertone when you go and buy neutral foundations usually the foundation will look a little ashy on you usually people have this issue a lot so when you go online and you're buying a foundation online it's always better to read the information under the specific foundation shade that you have found these days brands are doing so well such that they write the undertone of the foundation there so you need to do the extra work to read it and figure out if this foundation is for someone with a cool undertone a warm undertone or a neutral undertone 
luckily for us some foundations uh their names come with a w or a c or an n for example the estee lauder uh double wear foundation when i went to find my foundation shade there was a w by the name of my foundation shade which means warm which means i have a warm undertone so another way in which you can find your undertone is um jewelry i know if you look good in gold jewelry it means your undertone is most likely to be warm if you look good in silver jewelry it means your undertone is most likely to be cool but if you look good in both your undertone is usually neutral now let me suggest a third one to you if you go out into the sun and your skin gets tan easily it means that you have a warm undertone but if you go into the sun and you get burnt it means that your skin is of a cool undertone but if you are likely to get tan and burn at the same time it means your skin is a neutral undertone these are some of the suggestions that were given online it's not easy to get your foundation shade virtually and even when it's not virtual when you go into the shop it's not going to be very easy to find your foundation shade so one last tip that i like to share with you guys is when you find your foundation shade you need to put it on your skin and walk into the natural light to see how it actually looks because that is how people are going to be looking at you it's definitely not the best thing to use artificial lighting to find the right foundation shade for you because artificial lighting has an effect on your skin it makes your skin look darker brighter warmer you know depending on the kind of lights that you are using so it's not the best thing to use artificial lights to test the actual shade of your foundation so i'd advise that if you get a foundation from a shop for example you need to walk out into the natural light to see how exactly the foundation looks on your skin in the natural light i hope this makes sense these days like i said going to the shop is not easy so i'm going to provide a link for you down below for foundation foundation.com is a website that i usually go to to find my right foundation shade now this is very tricky because you need to have foundations or concealers that match your skin to the teeth if you go online to that website you have to put those foundation brands and shades in there so that foundation is going to suggest to you all the foundations that match your skin tone they would email to you all the foundation shades of the brands that they have available that's pretty much it i hope that it helps you kindly direct all your questions down below i'll be very happy to answer you i'll also provide a few links so that you can read personally on how to figure out your undertone because i know that that is is really really tricky for some of you guys i hope this video was helpful and don't forget to raise this video i'll see you guys in my next one thank you again for watching bye guys